hello friends welcome back to another video in today's tutorial i'll be showing you how to design a fascinator base with crinoline exactly the picture you're seeing on the screen my name is the lapo creative director of the big practice i have my molded crown i molded it with paper mat and i covered it with fabric i have wired it as well and i covered the inner part with bias I have my crinoline, the one of 7 inches width and the length is 40 inches, 40 inches. Then I have Alice band, a pair of scissors, office pins and this crinoline flower to embellish with. I already posted a tutorial on how to make this flower so please watch it if you have not. I also have needle and thread. All right, I'm going to take off the thread from my crinoline. You know, crinoline has two sides, the one with thread and the other side without thread. I'm going to pull it off. You can actually use the thread that came with the crinoline to form gathers. You can just pull it like that to form pleats or gathers like I was doing here, but it came off while working. So I have to just take it off and use my needle and thread. As usual, I tied the end, the two ends of my crinoline. It is very important when working with crinoline because it frays. So you need to tie the end. So I tied the two ends like that. And I'm going to run my stitches from one end to the other end. I'm just going to run my stitches from one end to the other end. And make sure your thread is doubled before you insert it into your needle i use the long needle here now i'm going to sew loose stitches from one end of my crinoline to the other end you can make your crinoline you can have the space in between the stitch or the stitches half an inch one inch up to two inches or even more depends on how you want it so this the space in between mine is about half an inch so i'm just going to sew it like that from one end to the end I'm using the crinoline of the length of 40 inches. The length of my crinoline is 40 inches. You can make yours longer. If you want to have big pleats, you need to make it longer. Or if you want it bigger than mine, you need to increase the length. So I'm going to sew running stitches like that till I get to the end of my crinoline. I've gotten to the end of the crinoline but i didn't um, secure my gathers yet i just pulled the thread a little i didn't secure my gathers so i'm going to now start um, setting it on my crown i'm going to set it on my fascinator crown and uh, i'll be using my office pins to hold them down to my fascinator crown i mean to hold the crinoline down to my fascinator so i'm trying to form a shape with my crinoline so you need to watch what i'm doing just watch what I'm doing. It's very, very easy. So with my obvious pin, I'm going to place one end of the crinoline onto the crown like that. We are going to do a curve. So on the gathered part, I'm going to free it a little. I'm going to loosen it up while arranging it on the crown so that it will form what I want to form. So I'll, I'll just keep holding it down to my crown with office pins. Can you see? I'm trying to loosen up the gathers. You know, I pulled the thread earlier to form gathers. So while I'm attaching it to my or attaching it to my crown, I need to loosen it up to form that circle or that shape I want it to form. So I'm holding that part down with office pain, as you can see. Now, before I continue, I had to use needle and thread to quickly secure the end that first um, edge we started with i had to quickly secure it on my fascinator crown because it was coming off so i had to quickly secure that i hope you can see what i'm doing i'm so sorry okay i just quickly secured it i just secured it to the crown then i continued i continued like that so when i got to when i was okay with the curve up to where i have my left hand i was okay with that i still held it down with my 
office pin i still had it on my office pin right there i'm just trying to secure it well with office pins before i later tack with needle and thread since i've gotten the shape i've gotten the circle i wanted so the next thing for us is to finish up Now for the excess crinoline you're seeing there, I'm going to pull the thread to gather that part, okay? I'm just going to gather that part and I'm going to roll that end. Can you see? I'm just going to roll that end like that. I'm going to roll it to form something like a rose. So I'll just roll it like that. Can you see? I'm going to roll it. I pulled the thread to hold my gathers and I'm just going to roll it there. I will roll it. I didn't cut off my thread as you can see. I just roll it and I raised it up. I raised it up. Then I tack it to my fascinator crown. I'm going to tack it to my fascinator crown. Then all those parts that I held down with office pins, I'm going to tack them down. I take off the pins one after the other and I'm going to tack them down to my fascinator crown. So I'm going to secure, I'm going to secure it properly by tacking it down. I'm going to tack it down. I'm just trying to make sure I form a defined rose. Then I tack it down. I need to tack it down properly and when you are tacking make sure that you're very very neat about it that is why the color of your thread should match the color of your materials can you see the way i'm tacking i just took the thread or the needle through the next available or oh, very close to where the thread came out from just very very close to it even if it's going to show even if the thread is going to be visible at the back we we'll just cut out a piece of fabric to cover that part so now i'm trying to set it on my harley's band so this is an opportunity for us to learn how to tack Alice's band to a crown or to your fascinator base now i'm just going to set it where i want it to stay on my right hand side can you see and i'm going to tack i'm going to tack it to my alice band i'm just trying to get that point and i take my needle and thread through down then i bring it back bring it back down can you see where we have the thread can you see where we have the thread string so this is my needle and thread what i was trying to explain is that from behind here from the back i bring my needle out from here i cross it over to here then i take my needle through and bring it out at the back then i take it back again i bring it out here i bring it out here then cross it over like that and bring it out at the back so i just did that multiple times so after doing that we're going to place our rows I love tacking most times because it makes your work last longer you can use glue if you want to but it's better to tack I'm going to tack my rose to it and that is it after that under the fascinator base where you have your thread showing just cut a piece of fabric and use your glue to place it over there to cover the part you have a thread showing you can use your hot glue or you use UHU glue I'm going to put UHU glue like this on the fabric. Like this. Can you see? So I, I'm going to allow here blow a little, then I'm going to glue it right here to cover where i have the thread train so this is just it apply pressure and blow air just put your fingers press it down for a while press it down for a while so it dries permanently 
and this is the final look thank you so so much for watching if you are yet to subscribe please click on the subscribe button so you don't miss out of any of my tutorials until next time please keep staying safe bye, bye.